Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to study a type of pattern called Moore pattern that I saw at uh, Jeff Lieberman of MIT Media Labs uh, webpage. Uh, just to show you how it looks like, uh, it is a beautiful animated optical illusion uh, that looks like uh, it is related to the daisy design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the basics of how you will be able to create this on Jammer Sketchpad. I will not get into all of the details, but if you know enough Sketchpad, you should be able to figure out from what I'm going to show you. Um, so in the first uh, observation we make, and actually it might be beneficial to look at a earlier version of that, uh, you're going to notice, uh, maybe I'll just show you this one, you're going to notice that the pattern here is reminiscent of the daisy design. So the beginning of the pattern is very similar to the way we construct the daisy design. Imagine the red circle as our guiding circle. And normally you would rotate around uh, this red circle center a singleton uh, green circle, but this time in order to give it some thickness, we're gonna rotate two of those. Uh, imagine I rotate this by 30 degrees, I'm going to get something like that. Imagine I did that again a number of times. And by the time I'm done, you're going to get a shape that is basically the daisy design. Uh, at this point, the key observation was to realize that there are two behaviors that uh, you could follow in the uh, Moore pattern. One is a... Uh, wave of pattern going in one direction that I'm selecting here as dark brown and then the other is um, the light brown uh, going in the other direction. So this is basically the daisy design except that it is now broken into two components. It looks like you're going to go in along this particular circle but halfway or so or quarter way to it you make a sharp turn and go in the other direction and then you do the same for the other direction and when you repeat this um, all across you're going to notice you have a collection of uh, dark brown and light brown patterns here that you see now the next step is to hide the original daisy design circle so you're left with that and uh, what we're going to do is uh, how you could actually take a pattern like that and then animate it around. And when you animate the light brown in one direction and the dark brown in the other direction, you're going to notice you're starting to get uh, this uh, Moore pattern. The effect I notice is much more dramatic when you have uh, the two patterns have the same color. So I'm going to show you now uh, two patterns, almost exactly the same color, almost the same shade of green. And you notice at this point that um, it is quite hard to understand what's happening when you um, have uh, sort of hidden the evidence of how this was created. Um, so this is just a food for thought. I'm going to leave you the details to figure out. But uh, for me, the key observation was to realize that this pattern is uh, greatly related to the daisy design that we already learned how to construct. So I recommend uh, you watch that video if you haven't done so. Uh, and I hope you have fun creating variations of that. And observe uh, the beauty of creating these in an environment like Geometry Sketchpad is you could wonder what would happen if you superimposed uh, Morse patterns. So here I'm superimposing and I'm getting some interesting patterns. Uh, and I also noticed that uh, you could make it bigger or smaller by uh, varying this and even uh, some stranger patterns started emerging as I moved this point in the construction. But uh, here are just some foods for thought. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I strongly recommend you to visit uh, Jeff Lieberman's uh, uh, website. It is called BEA 
dot st there's some very very interesting uh, ideas there uh, including some really fabulous talks that you might enjoy alrighty I hope you had a good time take care